Harry Mackay is next. The recently turned 22 key forward Harry Mackay. And Harry, it was, it was a really positive season for Harry. I've been going back and listening to the season previews from last year. And um, the, the key thing for us, or for me going into 2019, was can we get Harry to play a full season? Because obviously he had the back issues, the injury issues. Bolton was really cautious with him. And that looks to have paid off because we got 20 games out of him in 2019. And that's fantastic. Um, the first five rounds of the season, he was, he was, he was phenomenal. Um, capped off with a real breakout performance against the Doggies. And that was a really a breakout performance for the entire group, really. Um, he had the, the four goals, three, uh, 20 touches. And he was just in everything. I think he had the 11 marks as well. And that's probably there or thereabouts where Harry's at his best. Probably can kick six or seven goals at his best, I would have thought. But um, he was leading the competition in contested marks, if you remember. And he was looking really good. He looks to have put on a little bit more size now. Um, for some reason, we well, there was a certain section of the supporters who just jumped on his back at the end of the year because the kicking for goal started going a little bit to the wayside. Um, we have heard reports about the groin issues and that they were a little bit sore uh, and that really impacted his ability to kick the ball. Um, but yeah, it was it was probably, I look at the, 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 the criticism as probably a positive in the sense that when someone levels up, the expectation comes. And I think that's probably what happened with Harry. And it was born out of frustration with, you know, okay, well, you've shown what you can do in the first five rounds. You know, why can't you be doing it for a full year? For me, going into 2020, um, there's what I want to happen and there's the whole reality of his situation right now. I mean, for me, I want to see that five-game spell at the start of the year really extend to, you know, can he do it for 10 games now? Can he lead the, the league in contested marks for 10 games and build off that? Um, the thing I'm worried about and, you know, the reality is those who do not complete a full preseason from day one up until round one, are always going to be that little bit behind the rest of them. Such is the case with big men as well. We know that Mitch McGovern missed a good chunk of the preseason last year and he was just behind the eight ball entirely. Now, Harry, Harry, you know, as of making this video, first week of January, I mean, I haven't seen Harry do a single thing at training in terms of the running, in terms of the, you know, the match simulation. And it's, you know, it's a little bit of a concern. Yes, if he used to start running now in January and, and just sort of continue on, he can put a really good block behind him. But it's just it's just frustrating that he's not fit and healthy. And it's, you know, maybe it's his own body. He's growing. Um, there is the fear that with these groin murmurs that are going around that, you know, the Joe Danaher situation comes to mind and these tall forward, mobile forwards, um, it could be part of their their growth spurt. I don't really know what's going on, but there is some concern from my end. I hope everything's going to be okay. Obviously, I have no idea what's going on because, you know, I mean, I'm just a fan on the outside. I'm sure that he's in the best possible hands. Andrew Russell will put something forward to get him ready for the season. Um, but as of making this video, it looks like he and, and Charlie are pretty much behind the rest of the group and the rest of the forwards and the defenders that they're going to come up against um, in season 2020. So it's hard to put expectations on what Harry's going to be able to do in 2020. What I do know is he's definitely going to make it. And that's that's a, a big tick for me. You know, we did draft him and, you know, it took some time to actually get him into the side and get him playing regular games. But he did enough for me to suggest that he's definitely going to make it. And that's, I think it's a sign of relief, you know, when you pick a key forward. You know, in the past, we've picked a few that haven't quite worked out. You look at Luke Mitchell, for example. Uh, and so to see that, you know, I'm really confident in what I've seen from Harry that he's going to become a really good player for us. That's the main thing. Now we just got to get him on the park. He's 22 years old. He's going to be peaking at the age of 25, 26, 27. Uh, the, the great times with Harry Mackay are coming. Um, and I just hope we can get him fit and healthy before the end of the 2020 season uh, and see what happens from there. Um, I think the, the other thing I want to see from Harry this year is just another layer of maturity. Um, he seems to be a bit of a lad. I, I love his character. If there's one thing I do enjoy, it's his character. Obviously, you know, you're on Instagram, you try and read between the lines, you see comments, you see photos and whatnot. He's in, you know, he, he has had tweets in the past which um, have a little bit of banter associated with them. And I really like it. Uh, I think characters are what make, um, you know, great players and great people. And I think he's one of them. 
and I think he definitely sparks the group up for sure. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I do want to see him just develop off the field. And, you know, I want to see these guys become thinkers and, and students of the game and, and students of life. And I want there to be depth in our players. I don't want them to just be footy players. You know, I want our boys to be great, um, I don't know if you want to call them thought leaders, uh, but I want them to have an impact on and off the field as well. I think that's important. So that's what I'm going to be looking for for Harry in 2020. Um, something along the lines of 30, 35 plus goals would be, you know, the ideal target for, you know, one of the, the main key forwards in the team. Um, but we'll see what happens with this injury and, and see if we can get him healthy sooner rather than later. What about you? What do you think? How do you see his development? And what do you see moving forward in 2020 from Harry Mackay? Let me know in the comments below.